it doesn't interrupt. Yeah. So, uh, well, well, Jeff, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to the Hemmings House Daily. And <laughs> you know, you know for, for you and me, you, we go way back. Um, I'm a video guy. You're a tech wizard. Um, so it's been so fun for me to figure out the best ways to use technology to get video messages across and video oh, stories. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, yeah. I've been playing with Zoom. I've been playing with Facebook Live, uh, trying to find ways to bring more than one person into a Facebook Live and do a screen share. Like none of this is perfect yet, you know. Oh, like, no. like, We're like, on uh, still yeah, very new. Exactly, exactly. So, in the spirit of uh, what what we've been releasing, uh, you know, we're just checking in with our friends that uh, we've collaborated with and. Uh, want to figure out how you and uh, Sociological are making out. And uh, why don't we use this as an opportunity for you to, as well, kind of explain to everybody what you are doing with Sociological these days. Well, going back to the very beginning, when we had that uh, animation made with you guys back in, when was that, 2012, 2013, I think? It kind of told the story of what we do. We are still kind of do the same thing. There's like six or seven of us that do a variety of different things, but I'm the main guy that uh, plans our stuff. But what we do is we help companies communicate with their audience um, through the internet. So and, are you uh, fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is, is business. What has this crisis done for you? Because some people it's tanked them. For other people, it's, it's just been in crisis mode has actually opened up opportunities to work even more. I don't know of anyone in the communications field who's not busy right now. Um, just because people are trying to communicate. That's the only thing that we can still do with each other is communicate. Mm -hmm. And so people, you know, and, so I've got clients, I've got, um, you know, utilities, I've got organizations that, I, you know, they have a, a broad public audience that cares about what they do. That's what we're in the business of. We're in the business of getting your audience to care about what you're doing. And, um, but the messages are completely different. So whereas I would be, we would be creating content and trying to get people to care about the actual activities of our clients. Now we're getting them to care about the, the stronger messages around protecting yourself and um, keeping yourself occupied in this, in this pretty unique time that we're in right now. Yeah, I well. Do this with you when I came to the studio, which we have disinfected twice a week or every, every two days. Yeah. And then we've got Lysol wipes. Everything I touched before I got in this booth, I wiped. So <laughs> I I've had love it. someone has disinfected this place at least once in the last two days. Fantastic. We've got a camera on the place. Like I know that no one's even been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you let people people know as well, just quickly, about where you are right now? Oh, I'm at U Station. Yeah. And and what so is U Station for those who don't know? U Station's a co-working space. Um, like we built it as a franchise. We have one location right now, and we we've got spots in Fredericton and Moncton and Halifax that we're looking at right now. And of course, all that stuff has really been put on hold. We've built it as a franchise because we've got a pretty tech heavy team. And so we can bring technology to co-working spaces that may not have the means to have some of those extra features that some of the bigger companies can do. So um, I'm in this space here in Uptown St. John, which is like most cities, it's a ghost town right now. I had no problem finding parking. It's pouring rain out, by the way. So that hey, doesn't- Maybe this is a great time that we live in St. John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also yeah. noticed the uh, the wonderfully uh, colored headphones that the U Station uh, Thank you. has right You're now. Thank you. my wife. Looks really good. Oh, yeah. oh, of course. I, but I, 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 I love I this color. Um, so, Jeff, you know, we, you, you mentioned that animation. Um, for Hemmings House, we've been producing a lot of animations over the last two weeks because we're not sending yeah. out cr crews anymore for yeah. now, you know, because just to practice uh, physical distancing. And um, it was a number of years ago that we did this, this video w for you, but I feel it's as uh, relevant today as it was before. Uh, have you seen your video in a long time? Yeah, I, I watched it once in the last year. It's, to be honest, one of the difficult things about that is that if I were to rewrite the message, I would pretty much write it exactly the same. Well, that's so the, not a difficult thing. That's a no, good, it's not. I know, like the animation has become dated just because I've looked at it so many times over the years. Yeah. So anyone that's familiar yeah. would be tired of it as well. But if I had to rewrite the script for what we do and what we care about, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Want to watch it? Yeah, sure. All right, let's, let's see if this works. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go. I'll go biggie, uh, biggie size here as well. Okay. okay. Can you see that all right, Jeff? Yep. All right. Here we go. Is social media the elephant in your boardroom? We all talk about it on the surface, but a lot of us are afraid to dive in and figure out how to use it to grow our businesses. 
In the past, people were hidden behind the brand with only a select few put in the spotlight to speak for the company. But to be social, businesses need to put their people in front of their brand and at the center of a community that they build around the brand. They bring their customers inside their business as partners and builders of solutions to their problems. We help to change the culture of your business by sharing social tools and practices with your team. This helps them transform your company for growth in this new world. Social business is new to all of us, and the best way to learn it is through sharing and mentorship. Our thoughtful, carefully curated mentorship platform gives real learning and community support. Businesses can use our tools and courses as a launch pad to personal and team growth, and social business professionals can make us a central tool on which to build value and real growth for their clients. Customers become people you know with problems your business can solve. Sociological helps you understand how to grow those relationships so you can grow your business. It's time to embrace the elephant and start nice. sharing your stories and the value you provide. It's a share thing. Jeff, your voice. You, 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 you've, got a, you've, got, you've got the voice of an angel, man. Yeah, you, you got, and you, you know what's funny? <laughs> the only thing that I would say needs updating is a few more social icons that are relevant today. Yeah, and that's, that's yeah no kidding. Yeah. That is awesome. That is awesome. So with our... Get your uh, team on it, Greg. Let's go. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so we only... <clears throat> excuse me. We only have a couple minutes uh, left, Jeff. Um, but after seeing that video uh, a couple days ago, as I was going through all of our animations, I reached out to you to see if it's still relevant. And you mentioned yeah. that, my gosh, man, you're still in the game doing uh, online courses and mentorship and, and all this sort of thing. What do you want our listeners and watchers uh, and viewers to, uh, to take away? And, and how should they and can they get in touch with you to, to engage and get, get you to help them with their businesses? Well, we're at sociological.com, uh, two L's in the middle, sociological.com. I'm sure you'll post that. Um, so it's easy to find us there. Some things are a little bit more focused now than they were. So like um, back when we made that video, I was really even concerned about using the word brand instead Isn't of this. funny? Yeah. Like if you think about it, so that was 2012, 2013. Not long ago, right? Like if you think of it yeah, that but way. Like even referring to your business as a brand, uh, for a lot of companies, especially small businesses, local companies, like they, they didn't think of themselves as a brand. Like That's we're, right. a, we're a mom and pop shop or we're, we're just, just a business. We're not a brand, but now everyone like now everyone really appreciates what a brand is. So we don't have to educate people on what a brand is. We also don't have to tell people how important it is. So it used to be in those first few years, I would do a workshop and I'd always have people in the audience say, well, this has got to be a fad. Like this is going to go away soon. Right. And I used to, you know, part of my workshop was, well, you'd have to get rid of broadband. You'd have to get rid of everything we know about user interfaces that make things like Zoom really easy to use. Like we learn how to, how people, what people want to interact with over time. And that's the knowledge that we're not going to lose. And, um, you know, you'd have like social media being able to, you know, store massive amounts of audio, video. Like when was the last time someone charged you to upload video to YouTube? Never. Right. Right. So storage is, storage is almost free. Broadband is everywhere. And we know how to build interfaces. So this isn't going anywhere. And I've, I've been telling people that for more than 10 years. And now I don't really have people say that anymore. Like, you know, people know it's here. People know it's got to evolve, though. And I think some people are nervous about it. We've heard a lot of negative impacts of Facebook, for example. Those businesses have to be regulated. Mm -hmm. um, I've got very strong opinions on where I think those social media platforms should go and what their responsible responsibilities are to users, to, to my children, to, you know, like our, our kids are the exact same age. Like we know that the, every child is a social experiment. Parents don't know what they're doing anyway in any generation, but this stuff doesn't help. And so we need these platforms to start partnering with us on making society a little bit better. So would you but, say that people could look at you, Jeff, and sociological as, you, you've got your eye on the ball. You're studying the industry as it evolves, as it shifts, as it pivots. Most of us don't have time to do that, or we, we choose to put that somewhere else on the priority. Yeah. But, but you, you're studying this, and you're, you're measuring it, and you're watching it. So would that be a good way for me to pitch you to my friends, saying, well, listen. I suppose so. It's Jeff, a, let, Jeff, like an Jeff expert knows. in any field. Yeah. 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 No, I, I think I think that's about great. this stuff all the time, the same way that you think about storytelling all the time, Yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, and so we've got a we've got a new course that we launched this week that we're putting out by the end of the week, and it's meant for teams. And it's something that we we should honestly we started the idea came more than five years ago. Wow. Started making it more than three years ago. Videos that it contains were recorded two years ago. The scripts were written two years ago. It's kind yeah. of been in the can, ninety five percent in the can, 
for more than a year now. I've even been paying to, to host it every okay. month. And now it, it, it took this crisis <laughs> to, to press a launch button. Yeah. So, so Jeff, but the point is that yeah. you've got, you've got this, like, let's say you've got a hundred employees in your company. If 20 of them, 40 of them really understood what you were trying to do with social media and could help, like most of your employees have social media, like they and, have and, and they would help. Instagram accounts and they can be harmful if they don't know how to help. You know, if they don't understand what your company is trying to achieve, every company has a different strategy for how they're using online engagement. And you, if you don't understand what it is, you might not be helping. If your employees are jumping down critics' throats, that's not a good thing, right? Like, just what is the tone? How, like, what are we actually trying to accomplish? It's not a course for communi- for people whose profession is marketing and communication. That's right. It, 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 and I, I love because our team went through a sociological course as a team way yeah. back in the day with you. And I can attest that it's a... It's an awesome thing for a business owner. So that's launching on Friday or next Monday or when? It'll be it'll be live by the end of the day today, but we're still going to be improving it through the weekend. We're not going to start even looking at promoting it until next week. Okay, so, perfect. So people yeah. go to sociological with two L's dot com to get information on this. And Jeff, yep. like you said, this this might be a, a dry run. This interview, <laughs> I I had some technical issues at the beginning. If it is, uh, if we have to do this again, which I'm sure we don't. Let's do it again when, <laughs> when the course yeah. is ready to rock. And yep. uh, this is going to be good. And I, I got I to gotta jump on an actual client call now. Jeff, what a pleasure to talk with you, man. I actually miss your, your physicalness. <laughs> I, I, I hope this all goes away soon so we can go back to Grandma Nan with our families and see some good live music again together. Sounds good to me. At, yep. at, at Summer's End Festival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Jeff, so good to hear from you, man. And um, yep. yeah, keep, uh, keep inspiring. Okay. Hugs to the gang. All right, brother. Take care, Talk man. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.